One gallon equals how many pints? Now, um, you can draw your G again. So let's draw a big G so you guys can look at it. G for gallon. Then I know that four quarts equals a gallon. So then you just draw this over. And then within each quart, there are two pints. Okay. Now, since I'm only going up to pints, I'm not using cups. I don't have to draw the C's in there. So within one G, how many P's do I see? So I see one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So in one gallon, there are eight pints. Okay. Then uh, two kilometers equals how many meters? Remember, kilo means a thousand, but in a big way, right? So I know that there's going to be a lot more meters than kilometers because since kilometers are big, it's, it means a thousand in a big way. There has to be more meters to, to make up for the kilometer. So one kilometer equals a thousand meters. So again, this is uh, kilometer to kilometer and meters to meters. So then I can just go ahead and see uh, what I multiplied this by. So one times two equals two, right? You have to multiply this by two to get the two kilometers. So then you're gonna do the same thing on this side. You have to also multiply by two. Take this number, a thousand times two is 2,000. So two kilometers is 2,000 meters. Okay. Um, if you need to go back to the beginning of this lesson and review over the different um, units of measurement and try to get yourself familiar with all the all of them. Okay. Um, so that's it for this lesson on units of measure. Um, thank you for watching Educator.com.